My name is Samad Tolukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. I am again in the south of the country, in the Turkestan region. Whenever I came here, it always surprised me with its diversity and uniqueness, whether it is history, culture, or animal husbandry. And today I am going to visit a unique place. This is a goat farm, which is rapidly developing not far from Shimkent. Hello. Welcome. My name is Samat. I study the traditional Kazakh livestock. And I know that agriculture is well developed in the south of the country. Today I have come to you because I know that you have here a large goat farm. I never fed goats. I want to learn to care for them. Will you help me? With pleasure. I am very happy. I need helpers. At first, I should change clothes. Yes, and of course, you need a white bathrobe. Without discipline, no work will be done. It's true. The main rule here is cleanliness everywhere. So I put on my robe and went to help the farmers. Here we store our feet. They consist of wheat, corn, millet. We grind all this, enrich it with necessary vitamins and minerals, and prepare food in the form of granules. We usually feed animals twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. Now in the season of milking, we should provide three meals a day. This has a good effect on milk production. So you have all the food you make yourself. Yes, all our own production. Can I be useful here? Yes, of course. Then we get started. We will start feeding. Yes, you need to prepare food. So I have to pour various cereals into dishes with a capacity of 500 tons. As I was explained, the quantity and quality of milk is well influenced by wheat, millet and corn. After weighing each quantity of cereal, I filled the container. And now I will connect the device. It fulfills other works. This device, similar to the vacuum cleaner, will collect the cereals and begin their grinding. So friends, all the additives are mixed, device milk them and produce ready food. Now I'll fill my bag with it and go feed the goats. We hang up the bag like this and move this lever aside and the granulated food is pushed to my bag. See how everything is done. This is a complete nutritious food for dairy goats. The goat is one of the first animals domesticated by men. It belongs to the species of even-toed mammals. The average life expectancy is 9 to 10 years. The goat can bring 1 to 2 and sometimes 5 goatlings. And with proper care, babies can be born twice a year. Our goats belong to the Zainans breed. We bring them from Holland. They're all yearlings of goats, increasing one to one. 
about 100 heads per season, we can get 200. In general, this breed is a dairy. Now I'll put food in the deck before the goes. Milking will begin a little later. Thus they feed three times a day. Now these cuties have lunch time. Let's get started. The main feature of a goat is that it can adapt to any environment. As we have said, all these animals were imported from abroad and at the same time fully adapted in just half a year. Yes, the goat is not a capricious animal, so it can be kept anywhere. The most important stall should be dry, light and without drafts. The temperature in the pans should be no more than plus 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. Humid air may affect milk fat. Experts say that a well-fed goat with proper care never gets sick. In the same pan, all the necessary conditions for goats are created. You don't even need to carry water as well. Automated technology itself will fill the drinkers with water. So our food is filled in the deck. Now we open the gate and run our goats. After lunch, milking time will come. The girl milkmaids will teach me. Well, let's go. Feed our animals. Just as children love ice cream, so do goats eat food with great pleasure. And this yummy helps not only to increase the volume of milk, but also helps farmers during milking. How? It's simple. The milkmaids take advantage of the moment while feeding, fix the animal and start milking. Actually, now we'll do this. I have done everything and our goats are practically full and we can start. How many times a day do you milk them? And how much milk do you get? Now milking happens twice a day. After the kids are born, we'll move to a three-time milking. Per day one goat gives five to six liters of milk. And I thought that no more than one, two liters. This is a special dairy breed. Zainan's goat always gives a lot of milk. It is specially grown for this purpose. Local breeds give milk with lower fat content. I thought that I would milk the goats manually. But it turned out that you are using this kind of automated equipment. Yes, now we will still use this mobile milking machine. But in the near future we'll milk up to 96 goats at a time. This will occur in a new special department. Now specialists are installing equipment there. A special computer will calculate the number of milkings, milk and check its quality. I would definitely like to take a look at the new workshop. But for the time being, I will be milking. They're not afraid. They're all accustomed. Will they kick? No, no. Then let's get started. Here the device is connected, and now we will only wait. Yes. Frankly, I expected great emotions from the milking process, and here all work is done with the milking machine. I was a little tired just to look like milk running through the tubes and decided to go around and at the same time see a new milking shop which is about to start. Here while work is going on, foreign specialists are installing equipment. Each animal has uh, on, the, on the leg one tag which uh, give you the information 
information about the, the animal, about quantity, heat, and this, and uh, help the operator to set some parameters for, for the health of the animal, and uh, to see all the period, the, the increase or the decrease of the quantity of the milk on the farm, and the health of the animals. In the future, all the goats of the farm will be milked here on such automated milkings. And at the time, this system is able to take almost 100. This is a great solution for modern farmers. And I am sure that with this technology, this farm will soon become one of the largest, not only in the region, but also in the country. Now in the farm, there is time of lambing. So after milking, the milkmaids go straight to the manger to feed the newborn goats. I guess I am in the most wonderful pen of this farm. This is the nursery, where the little ones are. Tell me why you are feeding them from a bottle. Such conditions are necessary to get more milk. If the kid sucks the uterus, then according to its nature, it will keep the milk as if in stock. And so, the goat tries to give all the milk. Therefore, every day, we ourselves give out a part of the milk for the kids, and afterwards, we feed them from the bottle. Beginning with four milk, yes. How much time do they drink milk? A month and a half. Then they will be fed, yes, after they are fed on forage. This baby is how many months? Oh, he's only two days old. Yes, he's quite a baby, only two days. And this is three days, yours is two. Now try to feed. I wonder if they have already accustomed to the bottle. And yes, they have used to it. Newborn goats should be properly fed from the bottle. There must be a special mode, close to natural. Otherwise, the baby will not be evolved. And feeding, this is a huge pleasure. Unfortunately, a lot of other work on the farm is waiting for me. So I had to say goodbye to the kids. The place where milking takes place should always be kept clean. And so I had to clean the pan. I quickly coped with this and went on. Now goats should be given hay. It is mandatory in the diet of animals. Every day each goat uses 2 kilograms of hay. This is necessary again for the quantity and quality of milk. Farmers prepare hay themselves, packed in such bales and stored away for moisture here in this covered place. From here, hay is transported to a paddock with the help of technology. Next, manually we will give the goats tasty hay. Look, they're like children. To eat candy. Like all the work on the farm, I did it. Go ahead. On the farm, not only get goat milk, but also make various products from it. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Good. I help farmers in the morning with the housework. Look after goats, learn to milk and feed the goats. Now I've come to you to see what products you make from goat milk. Will you show me? I will show and teach. What are the main products you make? Now with the help of a separator, we defat milk and get cream. Mm -hmm. Next, the cream will pass the process of pasteurization, and we will make sour cream. We will produce curd from skimmed milk, this is dry salty cottage cheese, ordinary cottage cheese, and cheeses. We also produce kefir and yogurt from pasteurized milk. Their fatness is 2.5%. Then we make butter. 
творог, курчарамс, ниендай, май. The products are the same as they are made from ordinary cow's milk. Yes, but they certainly have differences at the end of the process. For goat milk products it is necessary, for example, another temperature during production. Then, let's get started. Now we just have to pour milk. Does the separator do the rest? Yes, yes. Let me help you. Over 20 dairy products can be obtained from goat milk. The shelf life of kefir is two months, and cheeses are only a month. Milk is stored for a maximum of five days. Curd's longest term is dry, salty curd. It can be stored for up to six months and even more. Well, it seems the milk is over. Yes. So we got two masses. Yes, cream. Cream is on the left. It's skimmed milk. Now cream will go on pasteurization. After cooling and adding the leaven, we get sour cream. And this is called a bath of prolonged pasteurization. Here we pour skimmed milk, boil, cool, add leaven and leave for 14 hours. As a result, we got cottage cheese. Uh, I got it. Can I pour everything? Yes. Goat's curd milk is one of the most healthy products. The principle of production is the same as for other types of milk, but the quality is completely different. It is good to give such cottage cheese to small children, because it is a dietary, hypoallergenic product. Cottage cheese is prepared almost a day. After all, after pasteurization, it should be cooled for a long time. Then wait for the reaction of the leaven. So for the time being, I will deal with other products. Another tasty product that is made here is cheese brinza. How do you do it? Pasteurization at 63 degrees is necessary. After that, you must cool it. Next, I will add ferment to dissolve this clot. And then it evenly thickens. Yes, the whey should stand out and then need to be drained. Now I do just that. How beautiful it looks! Setting through we add salt and immediately lay out the forms. These are designed specifically for cheese brinza. We get such a beautiful cheese. Mm -hmm. It should be filled. No, we'll take as much as necessary. And it should remain like this. No, self-pressing should happen. Here, have a look. So you have to wipe off moisture. Yes, the way should get off completely. Then we turn it over and press it with our hand. Let me try. Yes, let's do it. Cheese is one of the most delicious foods high in calories. In the process of cooking and boiling, microbiological, enzymatic and other processes take place. And as a result, the final product has the most valuable properties in taste and nutritional value compared to milk. Yes, goat milk is more beneficial than cow milk. From the cream that we got with the separator, you can make two products. If you boil at a temperature of 95 degrees and then cool about 30 and send them to the fridge, you can get a tasty sour cream. And if you beat it 
In a butter churn, you get butter. All products are delicious and most importantly, healthy. Here I think I see all the products that are made from goat milk. Tell about them. Yeah. Yes, this is our kefir. This is our sour cream. Here are cheeses, cottage cheese, butter. There is also cheese. It is called goat cheese. There is suliguni, mozzarella, and our curd. Yes, several types of cheeses at once. Please tell us the benefits of goat milk. Yes, it is very useful. It contains substances that are very useful for the human body. Goat milk can be given to infants. And kefir is also useful for internal organs. It cleans, isn't it? Exactly. The richness of calcium concentrate in goat milk has a beneficial effect on the cardiovascular system. It has many healing properties, especially useful for diarrhea, stomach diseases, anemia, poor vision, and diathesis. Ideal for nursing children. In general, pediatricians approve goat milk. When breastfeeding, goat milk is more common than cow milk. However, goat milk is suitable for diarrhea and can be used as an additional nutritional supplement for children older than 6 months. The goat does not have tuberculosis, brucellosis or other diseases of the cow. Whey is useful for the human digestive system. If you take 200 grams of whey daily in the morning, then the body will be cleared of toxins, and the skin will also improve. The whey from cow's milk is also useful. Since in goat's milk there is a high content of goatin, then such a whey is much more expensive. It affects the well-being of a person, treats allergies, and is generally beneficial for the body. Yes, the goat is an animal that has been in the Kazakh traditional farm since ancient times. Previously, nomads grew mainly for milk. The Kazakh proverb says, that the meat comes from a goat with a spatula, and the milk is like water from a spring. Or goat meat for just a day and milk for a thousand days. Goat is an animal that is growing rapidly, as it is very productive. And for a person, it is also useful for its meat, skin, milk, wool, and even horns. It certainly gives little meat, but this animal does not require any special care. Grazing goats feed on grass almost all year round. Moreover, they can eat up to 600 species of planting, absorbing all their useful minerals and vitamins. And for example, cows or horses eat grass selectively. That is why goat's meat and milk are quite nutritious. In the world, there are about 1 billion goats, and in our country, there are more than 2 million. In many countries, goat milk products are supplied to kindergartens and schools, and all because goat's milk has invaluable, beneficial properties. What else is needed for a healthy generation? Therefore, I just want to wish, may our goat farms develop.